Allow me to give you a prime example as to precisely how the universe tests you when you believe that you're something or someone that you're actually not. It comes in a myriad of ways, but one way is when you're driving. This is a very good test. When you're on the road and there's somebody in front of you driving really slowly, you get upset, you're impatient, you get aggravated, you hit the gas, you go around them, that starts to set things in motion because you've now entered into a specific vibrational environment that is conducive to the alignment of the dominant frequency of what you are now activating and becoming a part of. So that experience has generated a specific, a specific a sequence of situations and circumstances that go along with it because each experience is a consecutive energy that is a single facet that becomes the culmination of the concurrent reality, your kaleidoscopic reality. So you clearly see that this experience is teaching you that you are not who you believe yourself to be and you are most certainly not what you believe yourself to be and where you think you are as far as your progress. So when you get upset and fired up and frustrated and disgusted and impatient, this is the universe having you teach yourself. Hopefully you'll learn that these are the subconscious and unconscious elements that are buried down below that are impeding your progress and prohibiting any high vibrational experiences from entering into that vibrational reality that you are now a part of, that you should be apart from. You're not in the right place. You're going in the wrong direction. You are not the right match to fit what God needs you to do and where God needs you to be. You're still illogical, irrational, and unstable, and dysfunctional, and somewhat toxic. And for what God needs you to do, that's not going to fit. Look at it as if you're trying to get a job and there's certain requirements in order for you to fill that position. And if you don't have those requirements, you're not going to get the job. That's basically how it works. But you have to let these experiences teach you these things about yourself. Not because you're looking to get something out of life, because you never should. You don't take advantage of any situations or you take advantage of opportunities. You embrace them. Taking advantage of anything is never a good thing. That's basically like exploiting something for your own benefit, and that's a horrible thing. You don't want to get anything out of life. You want to put things into life and have life send you things in return without asking. That's the way it is. That's the reciprocity of the divine. But allow each experience to teach you, hey, guess what? I'm not where I thought I was and who I thought I was and where I thought I was. This is a wake-up call. Because if I can react and respond this way in such an aggressive manner to somebody who's driving a little slow and that sets me off, that means I'm repressing these unconscious elements of energies inside me while at the same time playing a pretend game with myself that I'm incapable of being negative and angry. This is the conflict that arises within you because you're actually now immersed in a duality. It's almost like two soldiers battling it out, looking to kill each other, you know? That's what the yin-yang symbol is. It's all about two diametrically opposed energies contained within the same circumference of eternal life, hence the human condition. A living contradiction unto yourself. You say one thing, but you do another. You do one thing, but you say another. But they're not aligned. And the universe recognizes this disingenuous posture that you're taking. You're not going to fool God, and you're certainly not going to lie to God. The only person you can lie to is yourself if you're thoroughly convincing enough. And you may be able to pull it off with some people, but not the smart ones. And certainly not the ones that are cognizant, sentient, and aware of what's actually going on. Because energy never lies. So everything means something, man. Go on the road, drive, and see how you act. Because once you get into that car, that car becomes an extension of your energy, whether you realize it or not. Whether you accept that fact or not. Whether you believe it or not, it is irrelevant. Everything you do in this life becomes an extension of your energy. No matter what you believe, that is the truth. So allow these experiences to make you better, not bitter. And stop thinking that the world is against you. Nobody is trying to take you out. That is your subconscious fears feeding this illusion in order for you to have a fragility and un un unstable environment that will collapse at the moment of the slightest breeze that comes along. That's how fear controls you. And it paralyzes you. It cripples you. You know, it just takes away your motivation to want to do anything in life because you're too busy feeling sorry for yourself and being aggravated why things didn't go your way. 
Allow these experiences, not just on the road, anywhere, man. You could be in a grocery store. Somebody gives you a nasty look or says something that sets you off. That's you got to understand. These elements are your teachers. They're teaching you aspects of yourself that you need to understand that need to be either repaired or replaced. If something cannot be repaired, it must be replaced. And that includes relationships with other people, with yourself, how you conduct yourself, how you carry yourself, and everything else. Because it's all energy, man. It's all energy. Manipulated into form. It's all energy. But you have to realize there's a reason for everything, even if you, in the, that moment, fail to understand it. But God has a purpose and reason for everything. It should always be purpose over pleasure and not the other way around. You know what I mean? So listen, I wish you the best, but don't think that things are out to get you and try to take you out and all that. The universe is sending you these things because you're making unconscious requests. Don't forget, your soul is working on behalf of the divine because your mind is working on behalf of the matrix to sabotage you. So your soul is calling out these experiences to allow the mind to realize, hey folks, we need to do work so we can elevate and get into that fourth dimensional plane of consciousness, that brand new state of being, so we don't have to keep experiencing these same low vibrational situations, circumstances, and this dense, laden reality that is undesirable. You are the way in, you are the way out, you are the key, even though there are no locks or doors. So the next time somebody cuts you off in traffic or tailgates you or any type of road rage situation, just don't feed into it. Because what's happening is you are now consciously assimilating that energy and allowing them to control you. Because you're lowering yourself to their vibrational level and now you care about what they think. Because now you're going tit for tat with these people, retaliating back and forth. And this is the way wars start. It just takes one shot and everybody's dead because everybody starts to fire back. Live in peace, not in pieces.